So you have all come to a position now. You are getting ready for your prelims examination. And one of the challenges that we all face is the confusion about what to do and what not to do. We call this as chaos. When you are planning to study current affairs, you realize that you have not done some bit of polity. You want to study a bit of history, you realize you have not covered topics of economy. This chaos is, I think, one of the biggest hurdles that you have to manage. It's also confusing uh, about 10, 15, 20 days of examination. And it's like it's all falling all over you and you not knowing what to manage when. I'm reading something from a book called The One Thing. This is by Gary Keller and Jay Papasan. And this book was gifted to me by one of my students, uh, Anupam. Uh, so if Anupam, you are listening to this, thank you so much. Okay, talking about chaos now, I'm reading out something from this book. It says, a not so funny thing happens along the way to extraordinary results. Untidiness, unrest, disarray, disorder. And when we tirelessly work towards a goal, clutter automatically takes residence around us. This book is telling you that when you're working towards big goals, big ambitions, big targets, big milestones, it is but natural that you will have chaos and confusion around you. Then it says, one of the biggest thieves of productivity is the unwillingness to allow for chaos or the lack of creativity in dealing with it. Chaos is normal, it will happen. When you're looking for a simpler uh, goals, looking for a simpler type of milestones, when you're not ambitious, you know exactly what to do when. It's a very simple life, no chaos, no confusion. You must go from A towards B, it will happen. But the moment your dreams become bigger, your ambitions become bigger, it becomes more complex dealing with so many things around you. And this book tells you, it is natural, it will happen. And the problem is that if you don't allow for chaos to happen, you will never achieve your success. It says, I repeat, it says, the greatest thieves of productivity is the unwillingness to allow for chaos or the lack of creativity in dealing with it. Then it says, there will always be unfinished work and loose ends lying around you to snare your focus. The truth is, the ambitions that you have is a part of a bigger package deal. When you strive for greatness, chaos is guaranteed to show up. So the confusion that you are going through at this stage of your preparation, at this stage when you're getting ready for the examinations, the chaos you're facing, the confusion you're facing, the self-doubt you face, the uncertainty about what to do and what not to do, that is very much a part of the package to achieve your bigger dreams. Now, to question, how do we manage this? Now, we want to know how can you deal with this? This book again tells you there are three ways of dealing with it. Number one, so understand okay, that this is normal. The solution is, number one, accept the chaos. It says, you cannot ignore the chaos around you. You can't wish it away. Accept it. That's one. Acceptance that this is normal is fine. You know, I have students who come up and talk to me and ask me, Sir, this part is incomplete, that part is incomplete, what do we do? I feel frustrated, I feel dejected. That's normal, accept it. That's how it is. That's one. Number two, it says that you have to understand nobody's life or the work that we get into is thoroughly a well-planned and a well-organized one. But the point is, you should know what type of work cannot be ignored. What it is telling you is that in this chaos, you must have the ability of picking and choosing what is your priority, what is the more important thing for you. When you are focusing on one type of work and there are other distractions, when you are focusing on one type of a milestone, there are other distractions. The solution is identify which is the priority, which has to be done first and in what hierarchical order. It says, you need to have 
power hours. There are some times of your day when your energy is at the peak. There are some moments of the day when you are all rearing to go. Identify those power hours and make sure you use that very effectively. You can't forego those kind of hours. So the point is, you have to decide what do you have to do first and what can be left for some time. So rule number one is accept that chaos is normal. Accept that the confusion is normal. And number two, prioritize your work. Number two, have a set of what is your first priority. And in that priority, make sure you're using your effective hours very, very efficiently. And third, it says, take responsibility. As in, don't accept this is normal and you resign to it. It's normal, now work to solve it. This book says, if you have to beg, then go beg. If you have to barter, then barter. If you have to be creative, then find ways to be creative. Just don't be victim of your circumstances. Don't sacrifice your time on the block of altar and justify, I just can't work towards a solution. The author says, find a way, make it happen. So guys, what I want to tell you at this stage of the preparation is, don't lose heart. The confusion and the turmoil that you're going through, this is very normal. Even those who have qualified the examination, no matter how confident they may look like after qualifying, but when they were in this cycle, trust me, they were as scared as you are right now. They're as troubled as you are right now and as uncertain and unsure about themselves. It is very natural. Accept that fact. This is not something that only you are going through. And number two, very important to prioritize your work. So you already know maybe your weakness is economy, then focus on economy. Maybe you have some gaps in current affairs of some months, then focus on that current affairs. You cannot do everything right now. Have a priority. And my suggestion to all of you is, you have certain very important hours of the day where you have to block those hours because you are most effective in these hours. I think three type of work require a lot of focus and attention. Number one is revision of the previous day's work and some recently completed tasks. It could be current affairs. Number two is practicing the right type of questions and getting used to the ability to answer in exam conditions. And third is set your body clock right. Even if you don't feel like, try taking rest after 9 or 10 in the evening. Wake up early and block the time of early morning for some kind of revision or for the tests. Go after what you want. Do what it takes. And these last 10, 15, 20 days are always more decisive than the entire year that you have put in. Don't give up to the last minute. Welcome the chaos and all the best. My wishes to you.